Exactly right now that you're sitting in your room, millions of meteorites of varying sizes keep falling from the space towards our planet. And yet, you live in peace and nothing happens to you. It is because the atmosphere surrounding the Earth, despite of its transparent structure, puts up a bold front against this meteorite bombardment like a steel shield, just to facilitate the condition for the continuation of life on Earth. A prominent example of this bombardment that we can witness with our naked eyes is the moon surface. If you just take a look at the surface of the moon, you'd easily see the holes which were caused by the meteorite shower. The atmosphere is a set of gaseous layers with a height of approximately 10,000 kilometers. When the meteor hits the atmosphere, the air in front of it compresses incredibly quickly. When a gas is compressed, its temperature rises. This causes the meteor to heat up so much that it glows. The air burns the meteor until there is nothing left. And that's how it protects our lives. In addition, the atmosphere filters the light rays coming from the space that are harmful to living things. The most striking feature of this function of the atmosphere is that it only lets harmless and useful rays visible light, near ultraviolet light and radio waves to pass through. All of this radiation is vital for life. Near ultraviolet rays, which are only partially let in by the atmosphere, are very important for the photosynthesis of plants and for the survival of all living things. The majority of the intense ultraviolet rays emitted from the sun are filtered out by the ozone layer of the atmosphere. Only a limited and essential part of the ultraviolet spectrum reaches the Earth. Moreover, the approximate temperature in space is minus 270 degrees Celsius. Our Earth is protected against this cold due to the existence of the atmosphere. The atmosphere prevents the energy directed to the Earth from going back to space. It arranges an even distribution of heat on Earth by meteorological phenomena. A hot air mass is therefore carried to parts less warm in the atmosphere, establishing a balance between the overheated equatorial and cold polar regions. Protection from the deadly cold and heat is secured due to the perfect design of the atmosphere. It is not only the atmosphere that protects the Earth from the harmful effects. In addition to the atmosphere, the Van Allen belt, the layer caused by the magnetic field of the Earth, also serves as a shield against the harmful radiation that threatens our planet. This radiation, which is constantly emitted by the Sun and other stars, is deadly to living things. If the Van Allen belt did not exist, the massive outbursts of energy called solar flares that frequently occur in the Sun would destroy all life on Earth. The energy transmitted in just one of these bursts detected in recent years was calculated to be equivalent to 100 billion atomic bombs each akin to one dropped on Hiroshima at the end of World War II. All of the mentioning information tells us the fact that a perfect system is at work high above the Earth, which surrounds our world and causes it to be protected against the external treats. And for a rational mind, it is an indication that such an amazing structure that facilitates the existence of life on Earth is not based on a series of random events, rather it shows a deliberate design being done by a wise creator. And this fact was revealed in the glorious Quran 14 centuries ago. And we made the sky a protected ceiling, and yet they turn away from these signs. The indication to such an amazing fact, on a time when there was no knowledge of cosmology, once again tells us that the Qur'an is not the words of a man, rather it's the words of a wise creator who knows the details of his creation.